Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, welcome to the November 15th, the Fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Let's have an extraordinary weekend, an extraordinary life. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers there ain't no sellers. I'm just kidding you. But what the buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during the next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. And if you can't dial in, we've got you covered there. You can go ahead and send me an email. It's steve at tfnn.com. If you'd be kind enough to put radio show question in the subject heading, uh, that would be great. And, of course, inside our Tiger's Den, we'll take any and every ping. Very quiet. I don't have anybody on the line. No request by uh, uh, email and uh, no pings inside the Tiger's Den. I think everybody must just be consumed with the uh, impeachment. Uh, hearings out there. Uh, but I'm not consumed with it. Instead, let's be consumed with these markets out here. So let's go ahead and get this show started. If I didn't mention it, you've got all indices in the green out here leading the charge. It's the semis. They're up a little over 1%, trade out at 1747. Uh, lead the charge dollar wise to the upside. It's Google. That's 18 points. Intuitive Surgical, 14. Restoration Hardware, about 14. Taro Pharmaceuticals, about 11. Rhymes with Garo. We haven't heard from our man Garo in a long time. Um, if we take a look at what's moving to the downside, it is Rieta Pharmaceuticals off 8 bucks, about 4%. Globant is down 7.70. That's 7%. And uh, Booking Holdings is down, um, uh, you know, it would probably be good to make sure that I share my screen with you and get rid of that uh, ugly mug that was on there. So here, now you're taking a look at what, uh, what's going on inside the markets. But let's let's start with... Let's start with the short term. What's going on short term out here? So I'm going to pull over my little market analyzer tool. And this market analyzer tool is taking a look at uh, the uh, various equity futures contracts. I've also got gold, silver, light sweet crude, natural gas, and treasury bonds out here. Now, when I say short term, if you kind of go from the very right, let's read from right to left. The very right-hand column is the five-hour time frame, 300 minute. Then you've got your two-hour time frame, or 120. Then you've got your one hour, 60, and then a 30-minute time frame. Now, the candle signals and i'm just looking to the the market condition is in those other four columns to the to the left of those but here we're just looking for roads momentum indicator topping patterns and the ones that are yeah uh, not yellow but pink um or light pink out here those are ones that are occurring as we speak during the current time frame the current bar but if you just take a look at the s p 500 uh, that is represented by take a look at the ES mini and we look at a 30 minute time frame. We've got a Rhodes momentum indicator topping signal on the 30 minute, on the 60 minute, on the 120 minute, and on the five hour time frame. They're just signals right now. Nothing has been confirmed. But what that means is that you've got the market that is stretching. You don't need me to tell you this, but it is stretching with less relative energy and when it does that at least for those specific time frames um it is a uh, it's it's a problem out there now if you take a look at the larger time frame for example let me pull this over here same tool but this is only looking at the daily weekly and the monthly and you'll see on the weekly and the monthly we've got some topping signals out there as well so let's come back and take a look at let me switch over to our shorter term time frame charts to show you what it is that we're looking at use this information i'm not sitting here calling the top at all 
and we'll go into those reasons. We'll take a look at it. But here, we take a look at the 30 minute time frame chart here for the ES mini. What we can see is we can see the price has been moving higher, doing less relative energy. Now, in order for this to help us identify a top, we need to see some type of bearish reversal candle. And we got that at uh, 1230 this afternoon. It was your shooting star candle. So you get the first element of the roads momentum indicator top for a 30 minute time frame. The next thing we need to see is we need to see levels of support fail. And that at this stage, as of 1 11 in the afternoon, that has not happened for a 30 minute time frame. So where are those levels? Well, you have one at 3112. Uh, 3112 is known as Stevie's green line. But then just below that at 3111 and one tick out there is the top of the 30 minute profile. And that those are your two levels of support that price must close below on the ES mini on a 30 minute bar to then suggest that price would move all the way back to 3103 as long as this profile is the one that remains in effect. So what we have right now is we have a uh, we've got a road momentum indicator top on a 30 minute basis but no levels of support having been busted out there. So it's just a it's like the weatherman saying bring your umbrella because there's a 40 percent chance of rain. Now don't take my 40 percent to mean anything out there. I was just using a uh, a metaphor, so to speak. If we take a look at the one hour time frame chart, we do see that price is moving higher, doing less relative energy. The last candle that uh, completed out here on the 60 minute time frame coming in one o'clock was a doji candle. Now, the interesting thing about a doji candle is they tend to have more meaning up at resistance. Well, you do have resistance here. You've got price movement higher, doing less relative energy, so it's stretched. I'll kind of consider that resistance, so to speak. But again, here, you need to see a bullish, a bearish engulfing candle. Uh, that would occur by 2 p.m. Should be too tough, but the real thing that would be tough, maybe tough or not, is price also needs to close below support. The first level of support here on a 60-minute time frame is 31.11. If that doesn't happen, price can continue moving higher, doing it with less relative energy or can find a round of energy out there. Uh, but right now, it hasn't. Here's your two-hour time frame. We can see this thing has been stretching for, well, since November the uh, 4th out there. It's now November the 15th, but a couple of these patterns, I think, have, no, they haven't even had to refresh out here. So this is you got a longer term time frame with that stretching pattern. Now we can see we can see bearish. We can see confirmations of some of these tops out here. You'll see they have those bearish reversal candles in this case here uh, bearish engulfing candles. In fact, we even had one earlier this morning, but uh, price pulled back. It was late last night, actually, and uh, tested Stevie's green line. That's your level of support. That's why that understanding your oscillator and change line is just simply so important, and especially with regard to the close of the session. So 30 minutes, 60 minute, 20 minute, uh, two, uh, 120 minute time frame. We didn't even talk about the four hour time frame. That would be 240. You can see price moving higher, doing with less relative energy. But we did mention the five hour time frame chart and the five hour time frame chart also doing the same. But again, none of these have confirmed that topping signal. And that is because prices only come back to levels of support out here. But. If we do see some bearish reversal candles, this is what the market is telling us. It's saying it's it's it doesn't have the same it doesn't have the, the required energy, but it can keep moving higher. Look here, I'm gonna sum it up like this. You've got warning signals that have been shot across the bow, but we must see evidence. And that evidence begins with a bearish reversal candle and then closes below Stevie's green line. Okay. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So the uh, ticker symbol, the chart that we have up on my screen right now is uh, Aurora Cannabis Inc. ACB is the ticker symbol. Max writes in, MM writes in, and he says, uh, could you look at uh, Aurora Cannabis for a bottom? Bottom fishing trade out here. He's looking for a little grouper fishing, hoping for a dead cat bounce in the cannabis stocks out there. Hope is uh, is is not a good technical term out there. Um, hope would seem to imply that maybe you're you're in it at this stage. And uh, but it, whether you are or you aren't, here's all that we know right now. Just in taking a look at profiles, prices below a bullish structured daily profile that took place yesterday. That's not good. By the way, just because the candle is green, that's not a bullish reversal candle. Just so you know, that just tells us where price opened and closed. From a weekly perspective, price is below the bottom of that profile. And from a monthly perspective, and I know you're looking for some type of bounce, you know, this would be about, to, we'll, we'll switch over to my other charts, but I, this is about the only place that we could suggest that you look at that or consider that, and that's at the 267 level. Now, the low so far this week was 272. So for me, that qualifies. That happens to be the bottom of the monthly profile. But let me come over and take a look at the monthly profile using Stevie's other tools out here. And here what we can see is that when Aurora Cannabis top that did it with the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top, there's our diagonal line. There's our bearish reversal candle. Um, clearly, there's an A to B equals CD to the downside out here. If we take a look at that pattern, just to give you an idea, Max, where that might be uh, headed to, you've got your one to one level at 237. But at a buck 60, that is where price actually broke out on a monthly basis. This is going to be or appears to be bar number five on the monthly chart of a TD setup nine count. This could be if the nine count is shows a bottom signal here. This could be something that doesn't take place for another three to four months. And it's November. That's what the monthly time frame chart. So the monthly time frame chart says, OK, if you're going to take the trade. And I'm not suggesting you do that. But if you are, go ahead and take it. You can take it now, and uh, you close that trade out as soon as the price closes below $2.67 out there because that then would suggest the lower price that we just looked at. Now let's look at the weekly time frame chart. The weekly time frame chart 
this this is not good. This says at a minimum price should head back into the 229 area where it had broken out. This breakout takes us back to November the 3rd. The reason why I say it's not good, a couple of reasons. Number one, it's trading below Stevie's red line out here. That's at 402. Of course, that would be a heck of a nice move if it could even get up there. But what it's also done, it's trading below the TD setup nine count pattern. And so, Max, this says to me, why don't you just hold off until about $2.29 out there? Um, that would be unless we see some type of pattern on a daily time frame chart. And so now we pull over the daily time frame chart for Aurora Cannabis. What are we going to see? We're going to see that price is moving lower, doing less relative energy. Again, you need to see some type of bullish reversal candle. Today is not it. It was almost a test of Stevie's red line at 322 out there. Um, so I, I don't I don't think this is ready for prime time. Now, today may be bar number five on the daily basis of a TD setup nine count pattern out here. But I think the pot stocks, because we looked at several yesterday as well, Max, I think the pot stocks, I tried to come up with something cute, but but I can't really come up with something cute. I, I think I think. Um, the, the, the chart patterns are telling us uh, that now is not the uh, now is not the time to uh, step into weed. It, it's just uh, I just don't see the patterns there. But again, specifically with the ACB, the only thing that you've got, the only thing that your back is up against the wall, so to speak, is at two dollars and sixty seven cents. And if that's a type of aggressive trade that you want to take. Then you know, then then uh, then then go for it. It's not one that I would recommend at this stage. I'd rather you wait to see some type of bottoming signal. And and it it just it just isn't there. And I don't know the reason why. I can't tell you the reason why. And at some point in time, they probably will put in a nice bottom. It's just not now. It's just not now. So stay away from uh, you know. And it's two dollars and ninety five cents I mean if you really want to take a trade here then do it as a uh, do it as an unexpired option it's 295 take whatever percentage it is of your working capital maybe it's one percent you know so let's just say it's uh, on, on ten thousand dollars one percent is a uh, hundred bucks take a hundred dollars and just simply divide it by two dollars and ninety six cents and that's how many shares you buy and you stick them in your drawer if for some reason you think there's some other bottom that we're not taking a look at out there and and then you don't have to worry because then it becomes a long-term trade but as a uh, our investment really but as a trade is concerned I just don't see the bottom so I hope that that helps you out Max and best of luck with that uh, set P writes in and wants to take a look at ticker symbol ETSY Etsy I believe that is a uh, arts and crafts kind of a place or so uh, I believe that because uh, well I don't use Etsy but uh, it doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong and uh, so what uh, what sat P could you please take a look at Etsy and suggest an entry price to buy a few shares so uh, oh that's terrible that's okay for some reason my other charts went uh, haywire but uh, I do have a backup plan and we're going to go ahead and and uh, and use it. So here's what we know right now. Uh, price is potentially uh, bounced up to resistance. It certainly, which resistance here on a daily time frame is the top of that daily profile at 42.87. It's a bearish in structure out there. And so if price did close above 42.87, it's got some potential promise. Um, but right now, it's just a little counter trend rally that has occurred until we go over my other chart, see if there's any kind of bottoming signal there. And if there if there isn't, then in uh, price is well below its weekly profiles out there. Let's expand this chart out here. Um, don't look at this green line out at the 39 area. That was an old profile. So and this has got an A to B equals CD to the downside. We take a look at the monthly time frame out here. The A point I'm using is March the 4th. The B point that I would use is September the 2nd. This this is a weekly time frame and then a couple of week rally into September 23rd. And the one to one A to B equals CD pattern takes us down to 3589. Now, the B point on this weekly basis was 4770. There was 12.4 million shares and it was passed with 37 million shares. Yeah. You know, what we're going to say here, Sat, just taking a look at this. You're suggesting that I give you an entry price for a few shares. 
what I'm going to share with you is the weekly says this is targeting the 3589, maybe 2892 area, which could set up a nice Gartley buy pattern. But what we would want to be seeing there is a bullish reversal candle on a weekly time frame. And that's not what we have here. So uh, Etsy has blown away a, a weekly swing point, usually not that easy to do. And that is telling you to stay away. Now, let me pull over my other charts out here. Uh, these are, uh, I'm, I'm upgrading to or Ninja Trader 8 versus 7. And the reason I'm doing that is because it will take advantage of uh, just the computing power that I will have. And so what I've done here, you see me on Ninja Trader 8 where I go ahead and I have a manual tool to figure out wave counts. I'm pitching that, so to speak, and trying to automate this where I can just simply put in a chart and it automatically populates with the uh, wave counts out here. So still working on that piece of it. But what I'm also looking for is some kind of roads momentum indicator uh, tool out here, and I don't see that. Now, I do see wave number seven out here. That would be from my third time frame. Uh, right now, I'm adding a couple. I won't go into the details, but I don't see it. As, uh, as a reason for you to get into Etsy right now. I would just stay put. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're going to go take a look at um, the ticker symbol here. This is for for James, right? Who is this? Uh, J. Um, I think so. But in any event, uh, uh, J. We'll call him J. J. At here. Uh, can we take a look at ticker symbol U G I? And the question is, what's going on with it today? Let's go take a look at it first. I don't know if I'll be able to tell you with regard to what's going on with it today, other than from a technical standpoint. I assume that's what you're you're asking about. So what's transpired here? This is UGI uh, Corp out here, and we're looking at the daily time frame. And on the uh, daily time frame, you've got a brand new profile that is formed. So resistance for you, I don't know if you're in this trade or not, but resistance for you is going to be 4404. Support is going to be 4122. Price is trading below the weekly. Price is trading below the monthly profile. So what we need to see is, or determine is whether or not there's some kind of valid bottoming pattern out here. There's no bullish reversal candle on that daily time frame chart. But let's start on the daily, see what we see out here. I do see a wave number seven, that's letter G, out here. So that could be a bottoming signal. Price is going to need to close above resistance. And resistance in this case, as I said earlier, 4404. But 4451 is Stevie's red line out there. So it could be a counter trend rally up to that level. Now, today is, I take, today is a little gap to the upside. So there's your bullish reversal candle. And certainly there's an A to B equals CD to the uh, downside out here. That's on UGI. But you know what? Let's take a look at the weekly. Let's understand what's happening above us and on, on two different time frames. So let's look at the weekly. And on the weekly basis, so what UGI did was it came all the way back to where it had broken out. That breakout level was 42.78. Granted, it pushed through that during the week, but uh, it's really come back to a, a breakout area out here. This is on a weekly time frame chart for this. So 4278, you're trading at 4320. You'd close it out if there was a close below 4278. Let me look at the monthly time frame, see what's going on here. So the monthly time frame, you know, kind of says not so fast. So if if this if if this did not generate a wave number seven bottom on the uh, daily time frame, uh, and if uh, pulling back to the weekly level of support, its breakout level doesn't hold, then price would head down to 33.33 out here. But right now, it's got some potential, uh, James. Um, it's got potential, but it's risky potential out here because where's my where's my cursor? This would be great if my cursor showed up. Um, that would be, there we go. Uh, and, and the reason I I say that is um, because of price still trading well below key levels of support in that 4404 area. So UGI has got potential on based upon the daily and the weekly time frame, and I could see you entertaining a trade there. Look, your average true range uh, is over the last 10 days is a buck 12. So make sure your stop if you're going to take that trade is a buck 12 times 1.618. That becomes your stop less your entry point and go from there. Hey, let's go out to Martinez, California and speak with Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve? Yeah, Brent. Hey, there you go. There you are, there you Steve. Go. Yeah. <laughs> How are you today? I am. I, I'm doing okay. You know, I went to the doctors yesterday, just normal checkup, and uh, just draw some blood and so forth. And and you know, he looked at me and he said, "You know, your age, Steve-O. He said, "You really need to uh, take this pneumonia shot and this shingles shot." And then when I said, "You know, I had shingles maybe about uh, 15, 20 years ago," then he said, "You definitely need it." So I said, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. I know there's lots of vaccination issues or what have you, but I'm like, eh, that's a, you know, he recommended that I should take it. Man, I feel like I've got the flu, uh, you know, just from, from taking those shots. Which I And then I talked to a, a neighbor of mine. Her and her husband did the same thing a couple weeks ago, and they said, yeah, they were out with flu-like symptoms for about a day, day and a half. So, um Anyways, you asked how I was. That was too much information for you. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all good stuff. I, it's funny because I, I think I've only had one time that my, my wife's best friend growing up from when she was a child is very high up in uh, one of the local hospitals here. Yeah. And uh, so a number of years ago, we, she recommended we did the flu shot. I did that, and that's the only time I've ever done it. I, I seem to do okay without it. Yes. And I actually got, I think they're basically giving you a, a strain of it and then it, to build up your immunity. But I said, after that, right. I said, I'll pass. I'll just, I'll take my chances. And so far, so good. And yeah, but I understand, well, the shingles, you know, trying to try preventative, you know, and, sure. and not so, so well, you know, shing shingles. my shingles. I get it. 
Yeah, shingles, which I've had before, and and it's one. It's a very painful experience, especially dependent upon where you get it, and um, and it was the only time when I when I did have it, and it lasted for a while, where and I was still traveling. I had my own business that I was running, and I still had to travel to to meet clients and everything. But it was the only time where, on the airline, I went ahead and boarded because I did need extra time because uh, it was just simply so so painful and so and he said you know look you, you know you really got to take this at this stage of the game so i you know said okay go ahead and do it and uh, but anyway let's talk about gulfport energy corp out here and uh, tell us what you're doing and, and how i can help you my specific question is i sold at that last high up there but i i did notice today i i was just wondering about that that candle put in today, and I, I know I think it just recently did that bullish crossover on the the zero line. So I was wondering if it was going down and testing that, or some kind of Taz, you know, market profile level. And I'm looks like I got might on the, the daily I have there. That, that was my question. Yeah. So so you know you you've seen a you've seen a pullback, and the pullback was it to the center of the uh, box. So no pattern or anything like that. Um, but just a just a normal pullback to the center of its profile at 283. We know at the center of a box we have both buyers and sellers. We look to see where where that center line is in proximity to the top or the bottom because if it's closer to the bottom, then we know that there's a group of buyers uh, there. Here it's pretty much equally distributed for the most part. Um, but price right now is trading above the top of that profile at 308. Interestingly enough, the center of the weekly profile, Brent, was 281. Uh, the low of the week is 282. And uh, but price is still trading below the top of that profile. So I don't necessarily know what to make of it at this stage. And price is trading in between profiles on the monthly time frame. So as we pull open the chart, I would feel so. You know, it's really not too bad. So when I take a look at this setup out here, um, here's what we can see. We can see that this generated a beautiful bottoming pattern back here. It actually confirmed the pattern on September 5th. It was a Three River Morning Star pattern confirming the Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal. It looks like on one of my time frames out here, I also have wave number seven. Then it makes a nice run. I don't know what stopped it up at those highs. On a daily basis, I don't have a, a, a pattern, so to speak. But it pulls back, and it pulls back, and it retests that bullish area. And it's a slightly higher um, bottom out there. And then it the, uh, looks like you know the action that you got in on, and then you sold it here uh, back on November the uh, 6th as it was really approaching prior resistance area. Um, but it still made a higher high. So now we've got its second higher high off of that Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. And now price pulls back to a, a level of support that we could call it, 283 and 281, the daily and the weekly center of its box out here. So are you considering taking a long trade right now? Um, I just, yeah, I wanted to get your thoughts on it. So. I, yeah. can, I can stay on the line if you want to come back yeah, and talk be great. about it. That would be great. That would be great if you would. Uh, we're talking with Brent in Martinez, California, and we're looking at Gulfport Energy. Folks, I'd like to hear from you, too, as well. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we're taking a look at uh, ticker symbol GPOR, that is Gulfport Energy. Uh, we've got Brent on the line from uh, California. And so, you know, Brent, ideally, this would have found support on the 14th as price was pulling back um, and uh, and found support at the uh, at Stevie's Green Line, the oscillator and change line. Now, the mere fact that price closed below that just tells us that it's searching for the next support level. And you know, with that profile being the center of the box at 283, that certainly qualifies as one of those support levels. And if it closes today above uh, 308, it's got promise. Of course, if it closes back above Stevie's Green Line at 322, um, you know, likely what we'll see here is another higher high out here, just uh, because it's got a nice solid bottom uh, from September the 4th. That's what the daily chart had. The weekly chart, um, what we can see out here is is really just kind of sideways move over the last couple of months out there. So that's not really being completely helpful to us. And um, the monthly chart, you know, it, I do see a seventh wave move potential out here. But uh, I, I like what I, I like what I see. It's not a confirmation. What are you what are you inclined to do here based upon that information? Oh, I'm just looking at it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just uh, the one that has me a little leery of some of these in this area is there. There's there's a lot of them having problems. I mean, a lot of them even you know going. There's that. Uh, I think I personally called you about that carbo ceramics. I mean, they're probably yeah. going to go bankrupt. There's just there's some problems with that. There. I think they've just got themselves over leveraged with a lot of this debt, even with the price of oil not even being. Kind of almost in the mid range, and it's just they, they've got themselves in a little bit of a pinch. So that's that's the one thing that makes me a little leery of. I've already done okay with it, and I sometimes you just walk away and <laughs> find something else. I, I'm just kind of watching it. That's all, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, what's what's interesting about about this equity as an example? So there was a gap. Uh, a gap up on November 4th with 7.6 million shares. And then the prior day had 7 million shares. And then yesterday's move lower was 2.2. And today you're at 3.6. So, you know, volume is pulling back into a, a breakout area with lighter volume. And so that 
as, as well as if price close above the top of the daily profile and the fact that we're seeing higher lows and higher highs out here are what I think is intriguing about this equity. Now, again, we looked at that weekly chart, you know, we could see a lot of sideways action out here, but I can see where somebody might consider taking a long trade in this uh, based upon the daily yeah, I've chart. Yeah, I've, I've seen worse, that's for sure. I mean, it has some potential. Yeah. Um, would you mind looking at Milan? I only just had one yeah. question about it just on yeah. the – if it were to close around where it is right now on the weekly, it seems to be a little better as far as uh, it could be yeah. a little hammer candle on uh, it's, uh, MYL, Mylan. Yeah, so if we take a look at, at Mylan, um, probably not a hammer candle on the weekly basis, Brent, because it just looks to me like the body of the candle is, is um, it, it's, too, it's too large of a body of a head on that uh, candle. And, and it almost looks like the wick is not twice the size of that body, or if it is, it's really close. But then the body itself is, is a little bit too high. But I guess more concerning on Myland out here this week is that it's, it's still found resistance at the bottom of its weekly profile. And the bottom of its weekly profile was 1781, and the high this week is 1780 out there. So that, that doesn't mean that price won't bounce up to the top of the daily at 1823. But you had mentioned the weekly as maybe a signal out here, and it's not a. We don't have a bullish reversal candle on the on the uh, weekly time frame. Um, here's the weekly time frame as well. You know the the positive is that price has found support at its oscillator and change line on a weekly basis. Um, that's not necessarily good enough to take the uh, trade, but it it does look like to me. That price will bounce up to 1823, and that's the top of the daily profile. What it does from there, I don't know, but it looks like there's a pretty good uh, chance that that will unfold, and that's because it's trading above 1758, which is Stevie's uh, red line on the uh, daily time frame. Does that does that help you out? No, it does absolutely. Thank you very much, Steve. Have a great weekend, and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Sounds great. You, you do the same. Good to hear from you. Thanks so much for calling. Um, our next question, folks, uh, comes in from um, William. Uh, Bill. Uh, Bill writes in and he says, I'm in TTD. That is the trade desk. Let's uh, go ahead and punch that symbol in here. And let me get it on my other charts as well. TTD. Let's finish reading the question from the 190s. This is trading at 231. So kudos to you, Bill. Nice job there. Where do you think this could run to? New all-time highs as a question mark. So let's take a look at the, the trade desk. Again, TTD. We know that it's trade above the top of its uh, daily and weekly profile. So just simply from a profile standpoint, that would suggest that this could move up to the top of its monthly and that's at 259.32 now that's not going to get you a new all-time high this is a bullish structured monthly profile out here this week's close is nice with a close above 222.87 and so it does suggest to you and i that it should be trying to make a run for the top of that monthly profile now let's take a look at this equity using my other sets of tools out here let's come back to the daily time frame and uh the daily time frame i don't see anything out here in the daily frame time frame to suggest otherwise. Um, let me make a change here. Uh, again, on this chart, I think I need to make one change. Uh, uh, give me a second to find it. And bar close. There we go. It just, uh, with these new tools, I just want to make sure I've got... Uh, so the daily time frame chart bill says price could be making a run for 252.46 that is the uh, previous breakdown area now this week the beauty of this is it broke above its breakdown area of 214.49 and what it suggests to me bill is a change in trend out here so we can see how this forms its high does roads momentum, roads momentum indicator top we've got wave number seven letter g when it makes its low it does it with a roads or does it with a td9 count as well as wave number seven letter g at the the, uh, bottom out here and uh, and then this week it uh, takes out a resistance level to tell us that there's a change in trend so 252.46 is uh, that level it was 259.32 for the monthly profile so so far everything looks uh, pretty uh, good pretty copacetic whatever that means 265.65 is the number on the uh, weekly chart for its uh, target to the upside and in essence I think we've covered the monthly 
the monthly level. So, Bill, uh, this looks good. You're looking for some upside. I think in that 259 area is the place that you should be uh, focused on and looking at. So uh, best of uh, luck with that uh, trade, and uh, kudos to you so far. So I don't see any other questions that have come in. And uh, we're about to go to a, a breakout here and then the uh, two-minute uh, wrap. So... Um, what can we do in the next uh, few seconds out here? Take a look at gold. Gold yesterday, I, I have been warning, hey, be careful, because uh, gold may, the counter trend rally in gold may be over. With this making an A to B equal CD to the downside, taking price down into the 1412, maybe 1348 layer area at Stevie's red line that held yesterday. Price is still trading below that area right now. So now is a is a extreme time of caution inside of Goldilocks, because what it doesn't have, is some kind of bottoming pattern for its daily time frame. That might not happen till 1424, 1412, 1397, 1348. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So for one of our dinners, we want to take a look at uh, Google. Google right now is trading out at 13.2809. Uh, this will be a new uh, all-time high if it closes uh, at this area here. But it looks great. If you take a look at the uh, TAS market profiles, you're above the uh, daily, the weekly, and the monthly out here. Uh, if I pull over my other uh, charts, 
Uh, let's just start with the uh, daily and the daily time frame. Price was moving higher, doing less relative energy, and a close above that level. That level, by the way, is the November 17th high, and that price was uh, 1323.74 or 13.28. Boy, that's a beautiful thing. This would suggest that it wants higher price. We can see the buy the buy point on this was as price pulled back to its breakout area of 11.63 on October the third out there. So the daily, excuse me, looks good. The weekly, this is going to be the second week in a row. Satish, where price is above 12.89.27. The importance of that was at 12.89.27 was the breakdown area. I like to see two bars above or below support or resistance to just confirm the move. This will be week number five of a potential TD setup nine count pattern. So this could say that you've got weeks to go if that's the pattern that unfolds here. Um, so the, uh, the, the weekly looks pretty strong, looks very strong. And the uh, monthly price is moving higher, doing less relative energy. Not an issue unless we were to see some type of bearish reversal candle. So that looks uh, pretty uh, good uh, for you. Uh, lastly, uh, John, in the Tiger's Den, I know you're trading um, natural gas. You're trading the, um, the 2020 uh, contract out here. Uh, UNG, the holding inside it is the December 2019 contract and so I'm just going to use this those that is for those folks that may be long or short natural gas out here and all that's transpired so far has been a counter trend move right up to, and today was the test was the test of Stevie's green line at 2.708 so a good reason to be cautious out there if price were to close above that level that would be uh, that would be at least short term bullish out here. Hey folks, thanks so much for being here all week long. Always great to be with you. Have a terrific weekend and I look forward to uh, seeing you on uh, Magical Marvelous Monday. Stay tuned. Uh, our favorite polar bear David White's up next. Tom O'Brien to take it on home from 3 to 4 and uh, tune in Monday at 1 o'clock again.